Assalamu alaikum viewers, this is engineer Sadaqat Ali and you are watching my youtube channel real time simulation world so today in this video uh, we are going to learn about uh, global variables so for that we need to create a live view project so let's create a live view project and select this blank project and press finish so our live view project is created <clears throat> now uh, let's save it so press this save and on the desktop let me create a new folder with the name global variable okay open it and name this as global variable project okay all good now uh, why do we use global variables global variables in lab view are used to uh, to send data from one VI to another VI in the same project like this one I have created this project now in order to create VI in this project what I will do I will right click on this my computer and go into new and select VI so here you see my VI is created uh, under this project here untitled one so I will name this VI as uh, I will save this VI as uh, VI1 and I will press K K uh, then let me close this I will create another VI named as VI2 ok I will save this VI named as VI2 so now I'll close it. I'll create another VI and I'll name this one as VI3 and I'll close this one as well. So I've created three VIs VI1, VI2, VI3 and here now I'll show you how basically I can create a global variable so I have opened this VI1 uh, now what I'll do <clears throat> I'll right click on this block diagram go into the structures and then select this global variable so as I've selected this global variable you see uh, global variable is created with a name global one right so I'll click this one and a front panel will appear this front panel do not have any block diagram so you cannot you, you see you cannot see its block diagram so it means it is a variable it is not a VI right it's a global variable so here I will uh, create a stop button okay why I'm creating stop button here I want to show you that how you can how you can uh, create a global uh, a variable how you can create a global variable to stop multiple VIs running under the same project right so let's save it name as global variable control okay uh, okay this is saved now close it and click on it and select this stop button okay so this is my global variable now what I will do I will I will create three different while loops and these uh, three different VIs so this is VI1 here I have created this uh, this while loop I will drag this one here now on the on the front panel of this VI1 what I will do I will create a I'll, I'll simply create a stop button I'll take this from here 
okay let me resize this button stop button okay here it is let me connect this stop button uh, with this okay named it as process a right this is a particular process which is running right and let me connect this with this stop button right okay all good let me save this and let me hide this for now and let me open this vi2 now i will do similar thing here what i'll do i will go to the structure select a while loop okay now here what i will do i will drag this global variable from here to this while loop now in the previous case <clears throat> we were writing into this variable now we want to read this so change to read so the value will be read by this conditional terminal right so drag this one here okay this is done save it now so now minimize it now open vi3 go into this block diagram right click go to the structures create a while loop and repeat the similar process hide this for now and drag this global variable over here as well again right click on it and change to read so okay name this process number three this is process number three and previously uh, in vi2 it was process number sorry this is process b and this is not three but it is c c okay now so here we have global variable so we have vi3 vi2 and we have vi1 right so we have all the three vi's now what we'll do we will run this these vi's okay we will run these vi's let me show the front panel of vi1 okay and move this one here little bit downwards okay all good now we can see okay let me run vi1 so vi1 is running let me run vi2 vi2 is running and let me run vi3 vi3 is also running so all the three vi's are now running and uh, you can consider that process a has certain data which is linked with process b and which is linked with process c so all the three vi's are interlinked with each other right now there is a certain process which is going on and what we want to do is to stop this process with one stop button right so how we have done it we have used a global variable inside our project this is our project so this is a global variable right we have used it we have write the data in we have one and what we are doing we are reading the data in vi2 and vi3 now what will happen when i press this stop button all the three vi's will be stopped so this is this was possible because of the global variable we have created so as i run this as i stop as i click this button what will happen vi1 vi2 and vi3 will get stopped 
so you see all the three vi's are stopped now let me do it again so vi1 is running vi2 is also running and vi3 is also running right so again as you click the stop, stop button all the three vi's will be stopped so this is not uh, over you can create a you can create a you can create another uh, global variable uh, in this example we have created a boolean one you can create another one let me uh, double click on it and let me put an con numeric control in this and let me save this okay global 2 let me close this one and let me write this is a numeric control now you can write the data into this numeric control from this vi and the same data you can read into any of the vi inside this project okay inside this project not outside this project so in this way uh, we basically use the global uh, variables in WebView. Okay, so see you in the next video. Allah.